end of the Murano glass factory tour. Let's head to the Murano Island now. Hot cappuccino. We stop by a shop, a proto by Murano. Now we are headed to Murano. Our water bus is at 10.50. So we just thought, let's grab a sip of coffee before heading out. It's freezing outside. For a change, hot chocolate and water. I'm currently standing in front of the water bus right where the entry point is to be able to view the beautiful waves and to show you how does it look like in Venice when you go from one island to the other. Burano is a beautiful island in the Venetian lagoon north the clean near Tarcello at the northern end of the lagoon known for its lace work and brightly colored homes and the primary economy Welcome is tourism. Welcome to Burano, Museo del Marletto di Burano. This water bus took us to Burano from Murano. It's a 30 minute ferry ride from one island to the other. Burano is an island which is nearby Torcello and this particular island is known for its lace and bright colored home. So the red and the green and the yellow. So I'm walking down the streets of Burano and I'm going to show you how beautiful this little island looks. All these islands are interconnected through the ferry. Ferry is the easiest mode of transportation over here and it depends where you are exactly making your way out and that will calculate the distance. La Buranella. Look at the rich color, the paintings here. These are being sold at a local store. You see the numbers 383. These are the individual numbers for these houses or stores. Artigianato del Merletto da Rita. Oh wow. These are all handmade. These are all handmade. Let's keep walking. Streets of Burano. Bathroom, bath towels, antique lace, pretty. You can withdraw cash here. Oh, wow, exquisite collection. Burano beds. These are 10 euro, the shawls are 12 euro. Magnet, fridge magnets, mask. These homes, see the multicolored homes out here. All these are individual houses and people live here. The local residents. Shops for dining, whining, coffee, boat. I'm also going to show you the gondola ride a little later in the day. Riva Rosa Ristorante. Burano Island also hosts little glass factory. Vola Wow La Rancio 900. And these are little shops. All for tourists, I believe. Nice. Look at the lace work. It's so pretty, exquisite. It must have taken so many days to make. These are little shops inside. I'm walking down the street. Oh, look at the work. Beautiful. Right now we are standing on this mini bridge overlooking the city, the multicolored houses and there are multiple ways you can walk, get down, be careful of your steps. Overall Italy, these individual cities and islands, if you look at how the roads are made, make sure you have some comfortable shoes on like I'm wearing my boot 
You can also wear tennis shoes, sneakers, but beware of high heels. I've not seen anyone wearing high heels so far over here. Beautiful view. In terms of cost, these individual Italy islands are a little bit pricey over Venezia, only because the mode of transportation, the way things come in here are a bit expensive. I got myself some magnets and three magnet cost 10 euro here. Food is a little bit expensive too, like in Venezia, when you order yourself one cappuccino, maybe a croissant, it gets you to five euro. Over here, that costs you about seven or eight euros for, for one person. Hey you guys, now we are headed to the island of Torcello from the island of Burano. Torcello as Torricelli, it's the most northerly island of the Venetian lagoon. Between those ones which are still inhabited and easy to visit, dozens of people live here, mainly tourism, farmhouses, and again, these farmhouses only source of income. Welcome is to Torcello, another island in Italy. We just got off the ferry ride and we are now making our way over to the street to look up to the beauty and why Tarcello is famous. Let me show you something. Okay, look for yourself the design and the way these stones are put up. They call it the Byzantine mosaics. And the island of Tarcello is famous for Byzantine mosaics. We'll do a quick 20 to 25 minute walk in the streets of Torcello. Then we go back to Burano and from Burano, we take another ferry bus back to Rialto Bridge. And then we get some lunch for ourselves. And from the Rialto Bridge, we'll get ourselves on a gondola ride. About 70 or 80 euro for two adults. You can do a private one. You can do a four person, which is about 100 euro. The price varies somewhere from 70 to about 200 dollars. Make sure of the time because it's a kind of, kind of that they will cheat you and, and they'll tell you that, okay, we are gonna for 45 minutes, but it's only 30 minutes. So make sure to watch the time too and have fun. Here's the Devil's Bridge in Torcello. This is about seven to eight minutes walk from the ferry bus stop. Legends say that this was built in one night to get over a devil and that's the name, Devil's Bridge. The green water and Torcello is one of the northernmost island from Venezia. The weather is a little bit gloomy. Probably the sun forgot to rise today in its full glory. <laughs> and that's the reason it's a little bit cold. The residents here, mo mostly the, the island of Torcello runs its daily business by the help of tourism. There are not a lot of residents over here and mostly tourists. Tourist and tourism or rather tourist attraction is the main source of income for these, for the people living here. I'm from the ferry at Burano Island and now we are headed over to the Rialto Bridge. Apparently no other option than to walk from the Burano Island over to the Rialto Bridge. So let's get walking, burn some calories. To Venice, people piling up for lunch. All the restaurants, cafes are back to open and it's 1.30 p.m. afternoon. Capturing the glamour of Venice. It's a weekday. People are busy selling, eating, spending time with friends and family. And I am hungry specifically for having some thin crust Italian pizza. Let's get it. Gondola rides, we'll be doing that in a couple of minutes from now. So gondola service. Time for lunch. We are doing zucchini pizza. This is a ham mushroom pizza and this is a margarita one in the making. We are here at Farini, Venezia. 
are getting close to the Rialto Bridge and this is the bridge. The Rialto Bridge straight from Venezia, Italy. Italy. Beautiful, isn't it? Gondolas, water taxi, ferry. The Rialto Bridge crowd for you guys. It's a weekday, but look at the number of people. All this is gonna lit up after sunset, which is 5 in the evening. 4.30 is the sunset, but typically they lit up after 5. Very nice. Gondola start from here. Each gondola can take up to five people. Doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five. The price stands at 90 euro. So if you are traveling solo, you can book yourself the whole gondola or you can split between someone whom you'll have to figure out payment by cash or card only right has begun The gondola ride is usually 25 to 30 minutes, priced at 90 euro. We took the entire gondola and we started from the Rialto Bridge. Entering into Canal. Church Santa Maria, okay. with all the house Casanova, uh -huh. with all the house of Wagner, and the house of Vivaldi. Oh, okay. It's a 20 to 30 minutes, we back over there. Okay. Medium was 35, 45 minutes. Longer, there is also a bridge of size, but it's 50 minutes. So this is a pirouline with vanilla and chocolate and this is tiramisu with the pirouline. Gelato from Italy. So good. Buongiorno Italy. We are now at the St. Marcos Square in Venezia. Look how beautiful the attraction is. There are so, so, so many people out here. It's 4.30 in the evening and it's time for sunset. Italy observes sunrise and sunset pretty early. It's cold, starting to turn cold. Uh, let me show you how many people have gathered here this afternoon. St. Marco Square, beautiful. Music di Piazza San Marco. A quick tour for you all. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. And if you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Subscription is totally free. And if you want to follow more for Italy and for the various cities and islands in and around Italy, don't forget to come back. Look what happened, guys. Shit on my head. There are so many birds out here. Yucky. I ah, have to get this cleaned. San Marco, I'm going to remember you. Silica San Marco. 
Sunset is almost here. It's getting dark. The crowd of Italy, the crowd of Venice. Right now at the Ferrovia railway station in Italy. It gives me a very Indian vibe over here. And here's how a railway station looks like here in Italy. After a very, very busy morning and afternoon, it's time to hit on some fresh food. Here we go. We stop by a cafe here, a Malazia. Coffee is incomplete without an Italian pastry.